Hey everybody, I'm Aaron Norris. It's January 4th, 2013. Welcome to 2013. And this is the Norris Group's Real Estate Headline Roundup in two. First up with some national numbers, shadow inventory decreased to 2.3 million units in October, according to CoreLogic. CoreLogic also said completed foreclosures in November were down 18% year over year. Spending on construction decreased unexpectedly in November by 0.3%, and first-time jobless claims increased by 10,000 in December, according to the Labor Department. So Congress came to an agreement on the fiscal cliff. Several federal tax code provisions crucial for home buyers, sellers, and builders were extended, including deductions for insurance premiums, energy efficient improvements, and deductions for new energy efficient houses. Bush era reduced tax brackets were also extended and made permanent for all but our biggest income earners. Negatives include an increased marginal federal tax rate for people earning over $400,000 and a 20% rate along for long-term capital gains. And there's a little bit in there for Obamacare, but that's nothing new for some of our top wage earners. But don't you worry, there's plenty more drama coming up as the fight over the debt ceiling comes up in the next few months. The Mortgage Debt Relief Act, which was also supposed to expire on December 31st, has been extended thanks to the fiscal cliff deal. Um, it includes provisions to allow borrowers not to have to pay taxes on debt forgiven through short sale foreclosure or loan modification. And this is a huge relief to many in our industry, so uh, a late Merry Christmas. Trulia reports that Las Vegas and Seattle showed the largest price turnarounds with gains of 10% in both of those cities. Home prices overall increased 5.1% last month and asking prices rose 3.8% in November, the largest increase seen in a year. Rent prices also increased 5.2% year over year and all that is measured by things being uploaded into Trulia. That's it for the headlines today, but of course there are many more headlines on our blog at thenorrisgroup.com slash blog, including our radio show this week. It's Susie Lavis. If you missed her, she's talking about some of the tax things going on in the world right now. January 8th, we've got Poised to Pop with Coachella Valley Real Estate Investors Association. January 10th, we're going to be at SoCal Ria doing Poised Poise to Pop. And January 17th, we're doing that speech at the Apartment Owners Association. And check out our calendar. We have many speaking engagements coming up for January and February. With that, if you need information on all five of our hard money loan programs, see the norrisgroup.com slash hard money. Or if you're interested in earning some return, uh, check out tngtrustdeeds.com. We'd love to help you invest some of that money. Uh, with that, have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you next week.